Well, hey, my revivers, today I'm going to be showing you how to make some tasty creamy eggnog. If I'm moving too fast inside the video, the recipe will be below in the description box so let's start with what you're going to need now i'm using almond milk trust me you can do it with almond milk you don't have to use whole milk three cups of almond milk a half a cup of heavy cream whipping cream from aldi's i have a half a cup of sugar two teaspoons of vanilla a pinch of salt two cups of whipped cream which is optional four eggs a teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of nutmeg and this is my whipped cream of choice this is optional it goes on once it's cold and you're ready to serve. All right, so you wanna combine your eggs and your sugar and you want to whisk them very, very well. This is very important. Don't skip this step because this allows the eggs to be incorporated with the sugar so that it doesn't curd when you are cooking this. So make sure you mix, mix, mix. So the next thing I'm gonna do is combine my heavy whipping cream with my almond milk and I'm going to mix them very well. And now you're going to incorporate the milk mixture into your egg mixture. This is one of the most important things about this recipe. Making sure you whisk, 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 mix, mix, mix. It is so, so simple, but that is the most important thing that you need to know, that it must be mixed very well. All right, now it is time to cook it. You wanna turn your stove on to like a three, four, um, low, medium heat, and you wanna put your mixture inside the pan. And once you put the mixture in, it is time to incorporate all those tasty spices that make the eggnog so delicious. So yeah, guys, I'm going to incorporate all of that. And guess what? We're gonna be doing some more whisking. So I'm gonna add the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the vanilla, and the salt. See, this was not a game. This whisking is serious. So I'm just zooming in because I want you guys to see how it's thin and it will thicken up as you continue to whisk. Now, the reason for doing this is because you do not want those eggs and that milk to start to curdle. You will have little pieces of scrambled eggs inside this concoction that should be eggnog. So that is why I continue to whisk, 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 and you will see that this is the most important thing that I told you guys that needs to be done, the whisking, because it will allow this to stay creamy and consistent the texture of it and i did this for about i want to say 15 about 15 minutes So I didn't want to speed this up because I wanted you guys to actually see that it is getting thicker. And this is where it is time for you to transition. So as it gets thick, now mind you, like I said earlier, this, see how thick it is? This will thicken up even more once you refrigerate it. So you can stop at whatever consistency that you feel is close to what you like to have it when you serve it and drink it. But I like mine thick, like sort of kind of like a milkshake. Yeah, not much like a milkshake, but a little thinner. But you guys see what I'm saying. <laughs> so that's why I did mine thicker. All right, so now that I'm done with that process, I'm just stirring it just a couple last times before I transfer it to a food safe container. And I'm going to strain it just to ensure that I don't have any little baby scrambled eggs underneath the liquid. So that's what I'm doing. This is optional, but I suggest it if you just want it to be smooth and creamy. So that's why I'm straining it. But make sure because this is very hot that it is a BPA 
free container, food safe container, because what happens is when you put hot food on something that's not made for food, it leaches the chemicals out inside your food. So you want to be safe. Now I'm going to head off to the refrigerator and put this in there for about four to six hours. Um, it doesn't matter the longer the better because you got to keep it in there when you're drinking it anyway. So it doesn't really matter. It's up to you how long you keep it in there. So let's come back and see how this looks. All right, guys, here it is. Here it is. Let's see this thick and creamy goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh, so perfect. So perfect. I am so excited. I'm going to be making ice cream with this this evening. So yeah, you guys should see this video before I even make the ice cream tonight. So if you have an ice cream maker, you can follow along with me because if you made the eggnog, you should have everything to make the ice cream as well. So yeah, I just put a cinnamon stick, some a whip topping and some nutmeg on it. And that is my homemade eggnog and I'm about to enjoy it. So I hope you guys enjoy yours because I definitely enjoy mine. So make sure you share thumbs up the video and I will see you guys later Gators